step into the world of suspense with the 1957 movie Curse of the Demon. Starring classic Hollywood actors, this film brings chills, thrills, and surprises at every turn. But what makes it truly intriguing? Well, keep watching because there are plenty of funny, shocking, and sad facts about this movie. Did you have a favorite classic Hollywood actor in this film? Or perhaps one role stood out to you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this movie. So, grab your popcorn and let's delve into the mysteries of Curse of the Demon. In Curse of the Demon, viewers dive into a story set in 1957 where an American professor named John Holden arrives in London to carry on the research of the late Professor Henry Harrington. Harrington had been looking into the mysterious Julian Carswell. As the plot unfolds, audiences are drawn into a world of mystery and fear reminiscent of the stories of Mr. James. Some people had different opinions about the movie. Some thought it was too slow, with long, quiet parts suddenly interrupted by loud moments. They also thought the demon didn't appear enough. On the other hand, some people thought the movie was a great horror masterpiece. They liked the direction, acting, and story, finding it captivating and scary. Even though the special effects might seem old-fashioned now, they were still good at creating a creepy atmosphere. Despite mixed reviews, Curse of the Demon remains an important part of horror movies. Its mix of supernatural mystery and suspense keeps audiences interested even today. Whether you're charmed by its old-fashioned style or critical of its flaws, it's clear that the movie has left its mark on horror cinema. Renee Hubert, the costume designer, faced a challenge when Peggy was replaced by Linda Darnell in the movie. Hubert had to redo the costume designs originally intended for Peggy, costing $65,000. An additional $25,000 was spent on these redesigned costumes. In the film, when Dana Andrews is searching for books, the original British Museum and library reading room at Bloomsbury is shown. This location later split into two facilities in 1997, with the British Library moving to a new building in St. Pancras, London, while the British Museum remained in Bloomsbury after renovations. The French title of the film, Rendez vous avec la peur, translates to a date with fear in English. The movie, Curse of the Demon, provides a glimpse into the challenges faced by the costume designer and features notable locations like the British Museum. Its French title, Rendez vous avec la peur, hints at the suspenseful nature of the story. In the 1957 film Curse of the Demon, the story centers around a character who loves cricket and local matches. Before being in this movie, she hoped to be in Forever Amber. But that movie had problems and she wasn't well known, so Linda Darnell took her role. In the early 1960s, she had a slow time in her career. But in 1965, she was in eight different movies, mostly playing military officers. This helped her career a lot. The movie Curse of the Demon talks about more than just cricket. It looks at deep feelings and fate. Curse of the Demon is an important movie because of its story and the people involved in it. It continues to be popular with audiences. In a scene reminiscent of director Jacques Tourneur's earlier work in Cat People, a sudden jolting effect occurs as a little boy dressed as a skeleton startles both Carswell and Dana Andrews by appearing behind a tree and screaming. This technique, inspired by Tourneur's employer Val Luton, was also utilized in The Leopard Man. Meanwhile, the lead actress in Curse of the Demon was discovered by the producer during a West End play after testing over 200 hopefuls for the role. The film also features an actor best known for his skill in delivering convoluted dialogue, remembered for his roles in Last of the Summer Wine and Porridge, where he portrayed socially aspiring middle-class characters. His portrayal added depth to the film's narrative. In summary, Curse of the Demon incorporates effective techniques from director Jacques Tourneur's earlier works, coupled with the discovery of its lead actress during an extensive casting process and the skilled performance of an actor known for his ability to handle intricate dialogue. Curse of the Demon is a notable horror film recognized by Martin Scorsese as one of his favorites. The movie, based on the source story Casting the Runes, has had multiple adaptations, including a radio play and television versions in both the UK and the US. Notably, it served as inspiration for Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell. The film's legacy extends beyond the screen, influencing various works in the horror genre. The set for the Bright Promise series, featuring Bancroft University, was meticulously designed, with the President's office serving as the central hub. 
Despite its critical acclaim and lasting impact, the President's Office set was retired after the departure of the character from the series. Curse of the Demon, released in 1957, features Norma Varden, known for her roles in Gun Crazy and Forever Amber. The film is notable for its portrayal of Ted Stryker, a character also seen in Zero Hour and later parodied in Airplane. Actor Dana Andrews, prominent in disaster films, played key roles in both. He depicted pilots facing perilous situations in Zero Hour, The Crowded Sky, and Airport 1975. The movie blends supernatural elements with psychological suspense, creating a gripping narrative. Curse of the Demon captivates audiences with its tense atmosphere and memorable performances, cementing its status as a classic in the horror genre. In 1957, a movie called Curse of the Demon came out. It's known for its great story and strong acting. The main actor, Dana Andrews, often said Oliver Onions wrote the story in interviews, but it's actually based on a book called Casting the Runes by M.R. James. Nile, who appeared in many movies set in medieval or ancient times from the 1940s to the 1960s, also had a big role in it. Before Dana Andrews worked on Curse of the Demon, he went through some tough times. His first wife, Janet Murray, died from pneumonia in 1935. Their older son, David, who was good at things like music and radio, passed away in 1964 because of a brain bleed. Janet came from a rich family in a small Iowa town where she's buried next to their second son who died right after birth. The movie stands as proof of how talented the actors and crew were. It tells a story that still interests people today. The dialogue line, it's in the trees. It's coming. From the movie was used by Kate Bush in her 1985 song Hounds of Love. This British production gained recognition as one of the top horror films of the 1950s. The demon's image in the film became an iconic symbol of 1950s horror movies. The film's director spent his final years in a nursing facility in Los Alamitos called due to Alzheimer's disease. A longtime friend, Bert Lancaster, was visiting him when he suffered a paralyzing stroke, leading to Lancaster's death two years later. Certainly, here's a revised version in 1957, a movie was made called Curse of the Demon. It's known for some interesting facts. For example, when choosing who would play the main character, the director picked Dana Andrews over Robert Taylor, which was an important decision for the film. There's also a scene in the movie, The Burbs from 1989, where a character named Art uses a book about demonology, possibly as a reference to Curse of the Demon. This shows how the older movie influenced later ones. It's interesting to see how ideas from Curse of the Demon continued to show up in other films. In the 1980s, Columbia Pictures replaced the edited 83-minute U.S. version of the film with the original 95-minute version, maintaining the title Curse of the Demon. Subsequent video releases and pay TV showings featured this restored version with a DVD release including both edits. The lead actor in the film, trained as an opera singer, seldom showcased his singing talent in movies. Despite being a trained singer in the one musical he participated in, State Fair, his voice was dubbed because the studio was unaware of his vocal abilities. He chose not to correct the mistake, stating that he believed the singer dubbing him needed the money. On June 14, 26, the lead actress made a special appearance at a screening of Curse of the Demon in Boramwood, Hertfordshire, UK. Looking slim and elegant, Peggy answered audience questions before watching the film for the first time, defying expectations of her age, 